So, Yair Lapid, we've been talking about this two-week crisis around the Temple Mount. We've looked a lot at inside Israel and Israel vis-a-vis -vis the Palestinians. What about Israel and the outside world? Because this crisis, like any crisis around this volatile holy site, draws heavy reactions from the Arab world. In this case, across the Middle East, including Turkey, a spat with a country that Israel has recently reconciled with. Mm -hmm. How challenging is that to Israel abroad? Well, if I may, uh, I think the reaction in the Arab world, maybe with the exception of Al Jazeera, was not as harsh as we expected it to be. I mean, they are preoccupied with other things as well. Of course, they said the things that, that you know they need to say in such occasions. But we, we, I mean, the pressure was not coming from there. And, and but you're right in saying that the, there is an exception there, which is Turkey. Uh, I believe that it's, uh, enough is enough. I think Israel needs to stop trying and reconcile with Turkey. Uh, every five minutes. I mean, we have uh, uh, President Erdogan, who is an anti-Israeli, who is using a lingo which is sometimes on the verge of anti-Semitism and sometimes beyond, um, and who's, who's made it, and, he's be, and he has become part of this uh, uh, Iranian, Qatari, Turkey's acts, which is anti-Israeli. So we need to tell them, okay, we, we, re, we understand uh, where you're going, so we can go to places we wanted to go for a long, long time, like support an independent Kurdish uh, uh, country, like saying it's time for us to recognize the uh, Armenian Holocaust, where, I mean, I think us as Jews more than other, other nations need to do so, and, and we can have a policy that is A, more moral, and B, um, uh, acknowledging that there's something uh, fundamentally different with our relationship with Turkey.